Hi everyone, today I'm gonna introduce you to my oldest cassette deck. It was introduced in the market in 1979. At, at the time, the price tag was about $1,450, which is a lot of money even for today's standards. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce to my Techniques RS M88. This cassette deck, even if it's really, 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 really old, uh, it has some features that not even those modern cassette decks has. And uh, one of them is the direct drive uh, capstan motor, quartz lock direct drive. And uh, what that means? It means that uh, since it is quartz locked, uh, it will never deviate from the standard speed, so your tape it's not going to run any slower or faster than it should. Uh, in fact, there is not even uh, an adjustment for this, this kind of motor because it will always be locked into the standard speed. So even though this cassette deck has like more than 30 years old, it will still keep the standard speed, which is very unusual for cassette decks. You always have to do some kind of adjustment in the speed, in the tape speed, because after some time it will deviate a little bit from uh, the standard speed. Another cool feature about this cassette deck is that it was one of the first models in the market with uh, compatibility with metal tapes. And in fact, it was compatible with, with all the four types of tapes available. Uh, normal type, ferrochrome, chrome, and if you pull this thing, it will record on metal tapes too. What was interesting for me is that it has the Dolby function, but it's not just the fact that it has it, but um, it is the fact that the Dolby function was actually controlled by uh, discrete components. As you can see here, we have this circuit board and one for each channel. This is for the left channel and this one for the right channel. Each channel has, has its own Dolby circuitry. If you push the record button, you turn red. And of course, it is not an LED inside it. It's a normal light bulb. And what is interesting is the record mode was actually controlled by this gigantic solenoid. It is not like those small um, relays that were used on later models. So this is the playback mode and this is the record mode. And what it does, it, it pulls the selector here. The selector in itself is very big too. The transport has IC logic control and it's actually controlled by solenoids and it is kind of noisy. If I press play, you see the solenoids moving and the head goes up. Stop. It has all those diagrams in the top cover. It is also something that many old cassette decks have. It even has some instructions in here. I really love this slim front face, really, really sexy, low profile, great design. And check this nice FL display, really beautiful. It has illumination in the cassette compartment and in the counter. So I'm gonna test the speed of my techniques here. Uh, I've got a tape recorded with a 1000, 1000 Hz signal. Uh, it was generated by a signal generator and um, it was recorded on my recording master which is a Sony TCK 555 ESJ. It, has, um, it also has a quartz locked uh, capstan motor so it's really really reliable 
Uh, so let's see what kind of signal we have by playing this tape on the recording master. Uh, it's okay, so playing and uh, oh, by the way, uh, this is an application I've downloaded on uh, uh, by a recommendation of a fellow forum member. I'm gonna put the link right here on the description. It is a really, really useful uh, application, so thank you. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we will appear like around here. Uh, it has a thousand hertz, about a thousand hertz, which is the uh, target frequency. So now we're gonna play the same tape on my techniques. M88. Let's change the input and play it. And as you can see here, um, it's saying about 1001 or 2 hertz, which means uh, it is a deviation of about 0.1 to 2 percent. 0.2 percent of maximum deviation, let's say. When you hear a music, you hardly notice the difference. It really is a, a small difference, and it's probably uh, not a difference made by the aging of my Technics deck. It's probably a, like a specification from the the manufacturer. Uh, so as you can see, it's really really reliable. Um, having a quartz locked motor on a cassette deck is really useful. For those that don't know what a sine wave signal is, here's a sample. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you liked this video, please thumbs up. See ya!